Hi friends. When the pandemic began, Watoto Reed recognized that people who lived in crowded and unsanitary conditions were especially vulnerable. Thanks to our many generous donors, Watoto Reed was able to allocate $11,700 for personal protection equipment in the camps, like hand washing stations and soap and masks. We distributed those supplies in two of the poorest refugee camps in Eastern Chad. We also supported educating people in the camps about how to prevent the spread of the virus. And thanks to those supplies and that educational effort, the schools in the camps have been able to reopen for this academic year. Here is Father Tom, the International Director of Jesuit Refugee Service, Watoto Reed's partner in the camps, to tell you more about it. Let me spend a few moments talking about COVID and its impact in Chad and the work of JRS. As we know, COVID is literally a worldwide virus at this point, but also affecting different parts of the world in different ways. Chad, like most African countries, closed its borders down relatively quickly in this crisis, and in that way did a good job of diminishing the immediate impact of the virus. There are certainly cases all through Chad but because of that quick shutdown, they have not grown to an immense proportion, at least not yet, and hopefully, with God's grace, not ever. That doesn't mean COVID has not been an issue. Certainly, people in the camps have come down with COVID, but more importantly, the shutdown has affected the economic life of the refugees we serve. In all honesty, keeping social distance and maintaining everything that needs to be done to prevent its spread is a little bit different, difficult in a poor rural area. People need to work. People need to have contact with one another to, to survive. So what have we been doing? And especially with the help of, Wa, Wa, of Watoto Reed. First of all, we've been providing education and training to minimize the risk of COVID spread. Second, we've been installing uh, hand washing stations for all of our school operations, in fact, all of our operations, so to do our best to prevent the spread of the virus from close contact. In addition, we've been distributing personal protection equipment and other hygiene supplies to our teachers, to our students, and those involved with our work. And I especially want to thank Watoto Reed for their help in this very important area right now. As I mentioned, Chad was one of the first countries to, in a sense, close things down. And the benefit of that is that we've been able to reopen our schools there. I'm happy to say that education is, is reopened there, doing its best to follow those guidelines. We have pictures of our classrooms with students keeping a good distance in their various desks, and we are confident that through the training that we've provided, the supplies that Watoto Reed and others have given us, we will minimize the ongoing effects of the COVID virus in Eastern Chad in our work with Darfurian refugees. Mm -hmm.